No, Colleen's asking a question right away, right before I even start. We're having lobster, shrimp, and scallops. Oh my god, that's yeah, the best kind of seafood. This, it's the best. <laughs> Nothing but at Christmas time is all about indulging. So first of all, for this dish, this lobster, our seafood Newburgh, we're going to just sweat some shallots with a little bit of roast garlic. And we just want those to get translucent. And then in our other pan, we're going to put our lobster, our scallops. But when you use scallops, there's always a little connective tissue that you have to take off. Because that, when it cooks, gets really tough and chewy. Put our scallops in, our shrimps. Everything is looking good. This is good. We just want to get that translucent. Take that off the heat. Shrimps and scallops. We don't want to overcook them. We just want them to get cooked about halfway. And then we're going to just put a little bit of sherry. And we're going to want you to just want to. There we go. We want to flambe the seafood. Okay, just a little flambe, because that adds a really nice richness to the fish. Okay, so those are done. You take those off the heat. And in your next pan, you want to heat your heavy cream. All right. Now, the reason you want to heat your heavy cream is because we're going to add egg yolks. This is what makes this dish so luxurious such a rich, rich dish. So we have this just heating up. And what we have to do so that our egg yolks don't cook is we do what is called tempering. It's where you take hot cream and you put a little bit at a time and you mix it into the egg yolks. Now what this does, this is tempers the eggs so that when you add them to the rest of the cream, they won't turn into scrambled eggs or one big giant quiche. So what we do is our cream is ready. Get our whisk. We turn that down a little bit. Sorry, I'm on. And we just whisk that in. Okay. We are whisking in the egg yolks. You put a little no. pinch of well, paprika, if you're lucky, you might be. just to give it a little seafood color. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. You whisk this all together, and what you have right now is a Newburgh sauce. That's how simple this is. We get our onions, our sautéed onions. We put those in. We get our seafood. We add our seafood in. And then we stir this around. And what we do is we just let this simmer for about three to five minutes, just so the seafood finishes cooking in the sauce. So when we come back, Friday morning, we're going to put that on the puff pastry that we're using today, we'll and it's going to be absolutely three luxurious. Song of the day coming out of the news. We're back. We're going to plate this up. It's all ready. Look at this. My God. This is delicious. So we have lovely little puff pastries. You just plop a little of those in the center of your plate. Get some of our seafood mixture. Which is the lobster, the scallops, the seafood. And you just put a little bit on each plate. And we saved the little tops so that when we made our old volivons, we put that on top. We'd give it a little drizzle of really good olive oil and a little garnish of fresh chives. And your guests are going to think that they're at the best restaurant in the city of Toronto because this is one of the best dishes you could make at home. Try it this weekend.